Sophia here for my great challenge show. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a quick video on something that I'm currently doing which is saving seeds. <laughs> I am saving tomato seeds and I'm going to show you two methods. The uh, paper towel method and the fermentation method. So you're probably wondering, well, hold on a second. What is this? <laughs> I just got back from Ohio. We went to visit uh, Scott's parents and um, this is the original, the original uh, corningware from my mother-in-law <laughs> and she gave it to me. I'm super excited. But what's the deal with the tomatoes? The deal with the tomatoes is that um, two days before we left, we visited a neighbor and she's an avid gardener and there's a lot of heirloom tomatoes and she gave me a whole bunch of tomatoes I had never heard before so what I'm doing now is saving the seeds for next year so that way I can grow heirloom tomatoes as well in my little garden um, so I have Mama Leon, I have Atomic Fusion, I have Chocolate Russian, I have Dieter's Delight I have a whole bunch of tomatoes I'm going to show them to you and then I'm going to show you how I do the uh, um, um, paper towel method and the fermentation method. The fermentation method is basically an extra step um, and it's really uh, not super necessary. You don't have to do it but some people still do it. It's the old-fashioned way. Uh, the other one works just the same. Um, but you know, it's up to you what you want to do to save your seeds. Let's dive into it and I'm going to show you the kind of tomatoes that I got and I'm going to show you how to save your seeds. So these are the other tomatoes that she gave me. And you see that I have some uh, black ones here and these are the ones that I'm going to preserve. Uh, these are, oh, look at this. These are all heirloom tomatoes, okay? I'm gonna give you the names and everything. Um, this is great. I'm so happy. And then these little orange ones here are great too. So I'm gonna give you the names and then I'm gonna start preserving. I'm gonna start with this one right here. So this tomato here that has some green and black is called Atomic Fusion and it's uh, usually more of the oblong shape. And this is a tomato that's actually uh, very sweet and depending on its exposure to the sun, it will turn a different color. So you can see that this is the part right here that was facing the sun and this is the part that was not. So what I'm going to do is cut my tomato in half. Look at this. I'm going to take a spoon and extract the pulp and the seeds. And as I extract them, I'm going to place them on a paper towel. So that's method number one. And basically what you do is that you clean the seeds with a paper towel and you let them dry for two to three weeks and then you put them in envelope. The other method is the fermentation method. So the fermentation method is the old, old-fashioned way of doing this and uh, some people still swear by it. But basically what you do is that you gather your seed in a container or a jar. And you're going to cover your jar and then you cover it and you let it sit uh, for up to one week and this old method allows for the pulp around the seeds to ferment and what it does is that technically it's supposed to kill all of the bacteria and possible diseases so this one is going to stay to the side and I'm going to show you the paper towel method and for the paper uh, towel method you basically take a finger and you rub your seed on the paper towel until you get all of the pulp out. And then you take a clean paper towel and you drop your seed on it. So 
So once you remove all the pulp, you then place your seed on a clean paper towel and that's going to have to dry for about two to three weeks. You can put them in the sun if you want. Uh, but ideally, you want your seeds to be completely dry and you put them in an envelope in a dry, dark and cool environment until the next season. Make sure you label them and you are ready to grow new tomatoes. Now the question remains, can you do that with tomatoes you buy from the store? If they are organic, you probably can. If they're not organic, you may, but chances are that you're going to get a lot of green and very few tomatoes because the GMO tomatoes, the seeds are technically not open pollinated. So you're not going to be able to um, use the seeds and start new plants. So what do you do with the fermented one? After uh, a couple of weeks that they've been fermenting in there, you're probably going to see some mold, right? So you just rinse it off, everything will fall off the seeds, and then you just dry them exactly the same way that I did the paper method. Basically the paper towel method that I just did um, bypasses this process. If you had good tomatoes and you didn't have any diseases on it um, and you want to preserve your seeds just do the dry paper method but if you did have a little bit of the uh, rust or um, you know blight or, or anything like that you may want to do the uh, fermentation so I'm going to do that for a while and it's going to take me some time and then in three weeks I'll take the seeds I'm writing the name I'll put them in envelopes in a little uh, cache or box or whatever downstairs in my cold room and next year I will be able to start my own heirloom tomato garden. So that's it. That's how to preserve seeds. And by the way, it's the same way for all of the other seeds. So if you are trying to garden and it's hard for you to get uh, seeds wherever you're at, find somebody in your area who has a garden ask them if you can have a few of the vegetables um, and collect the seeds this year i'm going to preserve seeds from my corian cucumbers um, seeds from tomatoes i always preserve i always save seeds from the beans because they are so prolific i got a gazillion of them uh, that's the kentucky blue pole bean and then I'm going to keep uh, seeds for my tiny Tim tomatoes. So this can be, um, by the way, a very good activity for little guys because it's all about and eye coordination. So if you have uh, toddlers or, um, you know, um, lower grade kids, you can teach them how to save seeds and then the following year they can plant the seeds they saved. Uh, that was just me showing you how to save seeds. The next one I'm going to do is this one here, which is a, <laughs> it's a chocolate Russian. Um, it's got a pretty rough skin and usually the skin always breaks like this, but I really like uh, the taste of it. It's, um, it's different. This one has a metallic taste, but it's a very, very good tomato. This one here is called a Dieter's Legacy and those little cherry tomato here are called sweet orange uh, tomatoes and they are really really good. Okay so I am now working on the chocolate Russian uh, which is the big black one here and that one has a lot of pulp there was a lot a lot of uh, of that uh, flesh coming out of it but boy is there a lot of seeds coming out of this thing there's a lot of seeds so it's gonna take me a while I'm not gonna keep all of them obviously um, but I don't know if you've heard of it but there is a, a seed vault I think it's in either Sweden or Norway it's one of those countries and what they do is preserve seeds and it started as a uh, survival type um, enterprise and let's just say, for instance, that there's a massive nuclear you know, um, attack on the Earth, like World War III type scenarios. 
a lot of the vegetation is going to get destroyed and we may not be able to replant it right away so if the vegetation is destroyed the buildings will be destroyed that means that all of the storing facilities that as we know them that have the seeds will be gone as well so there is this vault where they have a ton i mean i can't say they have every plant ever but they have a lot of seeds and it is a uh, uh, like a nuclear blast bunker type thing and if there is an actual um world war three and the majority of the earth is destroyed as we know it we're not going to survive without plants <laughs> and we're not going to survive without food uh so they are preserving um the seeds for us so seeds are life okay uh, plant your own stuff it doesn't matter if you have a real garden or if you do container gardening or if you have just a balcony or if you want to just do something in your house with lots of grow light but grow your own food no matter how small it's a joy it's absolutely wonderful to watch a plant grow from seed and being able to eat its fruits and then preserve its seeds and start all over again the following year. I love this process. It makes me happy. I hope it makes you happy too. Um, I don't know if this was informative for you, but again, if you go to your store and you buy an organic um, fruit or and you buy an organic tomato or um, zucchini or whatever, and you felt that it was the best you ever had, or if you go to your farmer's market, um, preserve the seeds, okay? Preserve the seeds and at the very least, I think I mentioned that in earlier gardening videos. Uh, if you're going to start a garden, look for non-GMO open pollinated seeds. Uh, they are available on Amazon. Uh, they're usually under survival seeds um, banner uh, because these are the really the only seeds you want to get. Um, you'll be able to keep the seeds, save them, and keep growing your own food year after year. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it, or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.